And um, in order to say, I guess I agree with you, if you think about it, yeah. I suppose that's why blokes can just talk shit all day long. Cars, sports, whatever. Yeah, maybe. Well, I suppose that's why. But the mundane can be poetic, you know? You know that, right? Poetry of day-to-day -day life. Like, a house at least I used to live in. Dot, which is a game without winners. It was made to use the Super well, Nintendo interface by the VJ Impa. Um, this week, <laughs> you will notice the slight difference in level and um, technology advancement. But right time, right place. And Gina is very usefully holding the map of the prototypes, which I'll tell you about in a moment. In this game, you'll have about four moves. So we think that's a probably a, a general uh, perspective on on creativity in general, um, but also it has many other internal fractal shapes of of interaction and and iteration, etc. Is that you can call anything anything you want, but all words sort of come with certain expectations and certain preoccupations, and those are things we can play with. How do labs create cultures that behave like living entities? But I think there's something like it was only like in like stage six. The lighting wasn't just inventing a new form of organisation really? entirely. Good. Did you solve it before we arrived? Well, we're, <laughs> we're, we're on the uberization of creative productions. Is what is the process of being a member that could access this? Mm. Or yeah. Do you want to play a game? Rather, here's a specific thing. Yeah. Like the BAC's one-on-one -on -one festival, the, um, the loveliness project, and I remember that that was. Uh... So, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to go round the tables, give you the microphone. From Montreal, people that we, you know, admired and respected and wanted to meet and play with, it's a place to start and hacked, hacked it and repurposed the technology and sort of re, redid the gameplay. Just come up and say, here, you know, hi, I've never made a game. Uh, so we. Uh, you have it in your head, which means we can come right together uh, and share. The object is graspable from our different perspectives, and all these uh, as an object which allows for interdisciplinary collaboration, it's brilliant. Students and the artists a series of rules over the course of the weekend. One rule is that they each get assigned one of the talks. So somebody might be assigned to talk about food sustainability. There is one artist uh, who is considered a team leader. We sort of split people up into teams. Do nothing, so we always working as volunteers on Garoa. But most of the money went from... Uh, 
we are pushing the participants to explore new things and experiment. And it's not just so we can create games or gamey things that would be impossible to make. As an operation hack, it's a dinner date where you have to operate someone. The second one is a, a Twitter bot that is tweeting. So the game or the place of it. And so this is kind of like, I understand it as a kind of a fluidic structure. And just thinking about this again. Um, I have always struggled to find places myself where I can do this kind of interdisciplinary work. In terms of the provocation, I had a number of them today, which I've been changing around. How long are we doing for time? One can start to articulate the development of labs as actually the evolution of global consciousness. So what is the perfect lab? Well, it, it seems like a first and impossible question because it's the diversity uh, and complexity of, of what a lab can be on the digital commons for themselves, and not just experiences. And what, one of the most interesting things today in moving things was the risk that we all took today with our intimacy. Please share your thoughts with us. This loop, and hopefully we'll be doing these events, at least another three of them over the next couple of years, so that will really enhance the opportunities for us as a meeting and also for um, other organizations, artists, 